great work. Marauder is a dead or dying. Slick working. All's quiet again. Thanks for the easy payday, stranger.
That thing crashed a long time ago. It ain't gonna fly again, so don't go get in front of the view.
Incoming captain! Here we go.
Security. Incoming! Kill confirmed!
Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, Parvati, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life, and you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten sal tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me, just so. Hip square, lean forward a little. It's just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Okay. We'll try again later. You'll get it. I promise. Make yourself at home, Captain.
Every SAM unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Thank you, customer. All cleaning tasks have been completed. Scheduling next round of cleaning to commence in four minutes. All SAM units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. Did you know SAM units are capable of equipping regulation-grade flamethrower nozzles? Upgrade your attachment today and get to firing away! Got stubborn stains? Leave them for SAM! Hey, Cap. Oh, that's just Frida. She's the first rapt I ever killed. I had her preserved. It had been when I was a kid, so something on the order of 20 years. My parents were very proud. Me too, to be honest. I'd have thought she'd have started rotting years ago, counting my blessings. Her, and of course, she's a great conversationalist. Never argues, never judges. Hey, Captain, I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of... I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and, and ask Jun Lei to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. Oh, gosh, do you think so? I just figured, you know, there's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here, she can relax. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like... like this. I mean, look at me! I'm all covered in engine grease and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping... We could stop by Groundbreaker for bath supplies. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Cause I wanna come with. I have received a transmission from Roseway, from a Dr. Shaw. Welcome back, Captain. I have received a transmission from Roseway, from a Dr. Shaw. Beginning playback now. What? Oh, is this on? Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast! Hello? I'm trying to reach the Captain of the Unreliable. I'll keep this short, lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. Mm-hmm. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy-like, ain't it? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad'd say. Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? Of course, that don't stop Felix.
I bet you'll like Rebecca. What's up? Oh, uh, sure, Cap. Let me know if you want some company if I ain't blacked out. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious-like, I'd probably go with rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and synthamin. I guess you could eeny miny mow it. Take your time, dear. A lady sense has a lot about her. We didn't have anything rosish in Edgewater. I heard it smells real pretty, though. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Straight to the point, eh? All right then, on you go. Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a mite ripe. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish from Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. There's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it.
tubes require evacuating. No, no, not those. The ones in port. Yes, there. Thank you. And while you're at it, could you switch my binaries to that? Exactly. I haven't felt this clean and efficient since Captain Hawthorne installed my subalternate auxiliary backup processor. We're now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. Scanning for C two five four seven grade rated contaminants. Thank you, customer. Warning! Raptid on claws carry bacteria and have the potential to cause organic death due to massive amounts of blood loss. Service cancellation request processing. Hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? I knew it! See, I all a logical deduction. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that, it's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls, mostly. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, Maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? I couldn't really say, I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. That's Bertie Holcomb! Only one of the greatest Tossbell hackers ever! I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Everyone's heard of him! Even on Monarch! We still get some of the games. You been living in a sulfur pit or something? You're real funny. Guess I don't feel so bad for missing what goes on in the rest of Stellar Bay. Thanks a bunch! Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. 
She's always there, so you can't miss her. By the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Get a grip, she says, as if I haven't survived this place for ten years. This town is enough to try anyone's nerves. Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than ten hours long. It all sounds wonderful, until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. I could do with a few kilometers of cold vacuum. But that spaceship has flown. Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goo, what then? Nothing. That's what. Because MSI is not in what you'd call good standing with the board. So even if I could get out of here, no one's gonna hire me. Was there something else? Or did you just want to mock me? Only every day. And even if I did scrape to... Well, thank you. Only... And even if I... Nothing. Even talking about it as my... That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back. Before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst. And the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. You got it. I got all the ingredients. Should only take about an hour in the oven. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. Oh, gosh. My tongue's rumbling just smell. The dust bat casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste. But I'm going to be strong. Now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Oh, I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I got that soap to scrub up with, but... I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. I don't have a head for fashion, and I can't really picture myself in something clean and... pretty. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium. Jolliker's Haberdashery. I bet I could find something nigh-on perfect at a place like that. Thanks, Captain. I know I've been asking a lot, but you help me out every time. You're the best. <laughs> Who's the sweetest boy? Who is it? Error. Unable to process the specific customer service request. Did I get enough greetings? And welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. What can I do for you today? 
You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self, and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptidon acid. Twenty bottles worth adds up, that's for sure. You'd think Sebastian would give me a discount as much as I buy from him. Oh, I don't mind. I usually buy things one at a time. Gives me more chances to talk to him. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Kind of like you, actually. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Sorry, seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. Hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. That's what Braxton is. He's our fish doctor. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I can't keep working double shifts either. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Damn right he will. Hopefully that'll be the last I see of him for a while. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was gonna spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker too. 
Never get the chance to use it these days. I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh-huh. Whoops, hold on there, Sam. You got some schmutz on your chassis. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days. But I've been meaning to ask her how that raptodon acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Nice of you to say. I like her too. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smoot? Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit, on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay, I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well, but we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a day with Celia? I've secretly been waiting for this, or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Oh, I will. Now I've just got to figure out which jumpsuit I'm wearing and how I'm fixing my hair, or maybe I should go with a casual look? Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. <laughs>